Hello folks, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen how can we limit to execute our Ansible playbooks on a specific system. In this lecture, I am going to modify our Jenkins job to execute those playbooks as part of our CI-CD job so that we can say our entire CI-CD pipeline is automated. For that purpose, I am going to create a new job and I will name it as a deploy on docker container deploy on docker container using ansible and i will copy this one from our deploy on container using ansible okay and ansible playbook i will give okay I'm changing description little bit. Next, if we scroll down, Git repository, we don't change. Build triggers, let it be pole SEM. So it is pole SEM. So first build will happen automatically whenever we save this job. Then goals, we are not changing. And post build actions, this is where we need to change. Earlier, we were using only one playbook to create a image and container now it is two playbooks because we want to run in two different systems so the host file is same and uh, playbook name let me take it from the ansible server yes devops image.yml this i want to run only on only on local host local host nothing but on ansible server and the next thing one more playbook we want to run that playbook we want to execute on target system that playbook is create a container that is devops project.yml and i will limit i will limit it to execute only on the docker host so what is the docker host ip it is 245 you can get it from docker server as well ip added here you can see 245 it is a private ip address so even though if you stop and start your server it won't change next apply and save it so this time what will happen this new job we have created and poll SEM has been enabled it identify the changes and uh, execute the first job let it execute and before executing i will show you that our docker hub how many commits are there 52 commits are there and if i go here on our docker server clear the screen docker images you can see latest image six minutes ago it has been pulled docker ps minus a and six minutes ago a container has been created here you can see we have only tomcat server now let's see see it's triggered a new build let me open the build output so it's executing second playbook on the target server you can see the ip address initial one it works on only local host it has been successful go to docker hub you can see here 54 commits I have one more Jenkins job which is using same repositories even that also pushed image to here that's why it is 54 it has been updated and it is happened few seconds ago and here also if I list out images again this time it is a minute ago and this is 43 seconds ago this is how we can automate our entire process and i can still access my application from the browser to validate our jenkins job one more time i will modify our source code and push it into github repository currently it is 15 commits next commit is going to available over here once source code is available our jenkins job get executes why because we have enabled pole sem we have enabled poll SEM for every minute. It should execute. And uh, our playbooks also going to get execute. 
copy the latest var file onto ansible server create a image out of it push the image onto docker hub then the next commit will appear over here and uh, same will be pulled by our docker server so latest uh, image is getting pulled and latest container gets created and whatever updates we have done to our code same will be visible over here okay I am using Jenkins server to update our code. Let's go to our Jenkins server. Under this home directory, we have a hello world, which is pulled from our GitHub repository. Hello world and web app, src main web app. Here we have a file called index.jsp. So this is the content currently we could see from the browser. I am updating over here Ansible. Okay, deploying on a container using Ansible playbooks. Just I have updated git status, git add, git commit, updated index.jsp to deploy on container git push origin master I have committed this one now let's go and see the commits 16 commits let's go and see our job go back to our job it's not yet executed. Once it is executed, we can see the latest var file. Yes, it's executing. And if I go and see our Ansible server, ls minus l, var file, there is 8 minutes variation. We should get a latest var file. ls, it's still not yet created. Yeah, latest var file got created. Docker images. You can see new image getting created. Yes, you can see latest images got created and these get pushed into our Docker hub. Let's refresh it here. Yes, latest commit has been done. Then if you see here, Docker images. Currently, it removed the Docker image. It created a new Docker image and it creates a new container. And if I refresh our application from the browser, we could see the latest commit. Yes, I haven't touched anything. As a developer, I just pushed my code and I could able to see the new application in my Docker container. This is how we can set up a production ready CI/CD pipeline to deploy our applications. Now everything is working as expected so far. Now assume that due to some problem your Docker container is not working. We need to create it manually or we should rerun our Jenkins job. But Jenkins job get executed only if there is a new build. To overcome this problem, we should have some mechanism who can able to take care or maintain our containers. That is where Google comes up with a product called Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a container management service which can manage containers. If it finds any faulty containers, it replaces with a new one or desired capacity of containers are not available, it creates new one. How to set up Kubernetes cluster and uh, how can we integrate Kubernetes with our Ansible and Jenkins job? We are going to see in the next section. Until then, bye. See you there.